Hello everyone and welcome back. Now today before we hop into the video, I gotta ask please everyone that comes through the video today, if you like what you see, like, share, and follow. We really need the support right now. If you don't like the video, you could always dislike it. There's an option for down there. Just interact with the video however you feel, whether you liked it or disliked it. Either way, let's jump into this. Today we're going to be going over some hacks nice. that you don't need to be a tech wizard or any kind of a technical genius to figure out. In fact, I'm going to make it really easy for you. I'm going to break it down. Very, very simple things that you could do right now if you have a slow computer or you're, if you're just wondering, like, how can I speed up my computer? I want to know easy things to do to increase performance. This is the video for you. So let's check it out. All right, so uh, one of the easiest things that you can do for your computer is to check out what's going on in the actual computer, right? So check this out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the task manager. I've gone over this in a couple of videos. I like to do it straight from the Windows symbol. If you just right click on the Windows symbol, you get the option for task manager. Another way to do it would be control alt delete and get the task manager from there. Um, so yeah, those are, those are two of the easy ways to get there, but just get task manager open is the biggest thing. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at background processes on the machine, right? So on the computer, there's always a lot running and sometimes these background processes get confusing, but some things, some things are easy to pick out like specific names. So for example, iTunes, perfect right here. I bust open task manager. I can see that I have iTunes running in the background. I have an open iTunes today. What is going on? I just rebooted my computer a little bit ago. Um, I did a fresh reinstall of my operating system not long ago. And now all of a sudden I have iTunes showing up at the beginning of when I start my computer and it's running in the background and look, it's using like memory space and things like that, like things I don't want it to use. I want that space back. It may be minuscule, but every little bit of this starts to add up, right? So I want that little bit back. Why am I getting iTunes? Well, one of the easiest things you can check on your computer is your startup items. Now, if you have too many startup items, this could impact the uh, the performance of your computer. In fact, some of the startup items, none of mine are right now, but some of them will even tell you the impact that they actually have on your computer. It'll say startup impact. Some of them will say high next to it or low or medium. Now, I have two enabled right now, and you can see that iTunes mobile device helper is one of them, which is why iTunes is running in the background right now. I essentially told it to start when my computer starts. So an easy way to break down startup items and what they are is, is this. They are every, it's what starts when your computer starts. If it has an enabled next to it, that means when your computer starts up or you sign in, you do a reboot, you had your computer shut off and you decided to turn it back on, whatever. These are the items that are all starting up when your computer starts. Honestly, most of the time when you download new software or a new application or program on your computer, they're going to automatically stick themselves inside this list enabled without telling you. So it's a good idea to check in here. Uh, a lot, and on that note, a lot of them ask you during the install, right? So it's not just like they do it automatically. Sometimes during the install, if you choose to do the default settings, or it might even be check marked to add the item as a startup item. If you don't notice and you don't change that, or you don't custom install your applications or programs, which a lot of people don't, you're going to end up with the item in your startup item. So it's a good idea to come in here, check it out, remove the items that don't need to be here. It's as simple as clicking on them and then doing a disable, which you can see I just did here for iTunes. So now the next time I restart my computer, iTunes won't be running in the background, won't be eating up that so, uh, small about it amount of space. Now this is a simplified breakdown, easy breakdown that Windows gives you built into the computer for your system to see. There's another tool out there called Auto Runs. Now Auto Runs is a much more in-depth and advanced tool that shows you your startup items, applications and services. This one is a little bit more technical and it might not be a good idea to just go in there turning everything off. The startup items are a lot safer to turn off. You can turn all those off pretty safely. In auto runs, you're gonna wanna go through and kind of break down each item by item and know what it is before you turn it off. Some of them are services and drivers that you actually need starting in the background for certain things. But if you take some time, you cruise the list, you'll probably find things also that don't need to be turned on inside of auto runs, which is a great tool for increasing the performance of your computer by reducing startup items. So that's the first easy hack, guys. Startup items, right? Startup items can be handled via your task manager startup apps. 
and via auto runs a great tool out there in fact i would recommend that the, the best tool out there for checking your startup items because it's going to be the most comprehensive There's a setting for it. No joke. Check this out. So if you actually go into your settings or into the search on your computer and do adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, there it is right there. It's actually in control panel. Look at this. They actually have a setting for it built into the computer. Not a lot of people know about this. So easy hack. Like I said, this is simple stuff, really elementary. A lot of the tools uh, to increase the increase the performance or make your computer faster if it's slow are actually built into the system. You don't need to be downloading these speed up my PC apps or you know driver update apps that are out there because a lot of those just wind up wrecking your computer and doing more harm in the long run. So right here, built in setting right here, performance options. Let Windows choose what's best for your, my computer is the typically selected option. Um, but you can do adjust for best performance or adjust for best appearance, whatever you want to do. There's also advanced options in here to choose how you want to allocate your processor resources. You want to adjust it best for programs or background services, which is pretty awesome. And you can even uh, change virtual memory, your, your paging size in here. So pretty cool. Um, data execution prevention. Probably honestly leave that on don't mess with that but you can do some research on that there's a lot of options in here three different options that do allow quite a bit of customization and change right so it's not like you can tweak your cpu or anything in here but you can do a couple things to tweak other things like how much uh, ram you're using the virtual memory and then how you want your computer to run basically you get some options there are a lot of people think that you don't have built-in options to choose how your pc runs and it can run some things better and other things um you know like the background services turn off and, and adjust for best performance for programs right so or you could do background services if there's certain background services that aren't getting the attention or resources they need all that can be adjusted in here pretty cool pretty cool little built-in tool that windows left us so that's the second way guys built-in settings now the third one this one is going to seem pretty simple pretty elementary but it's very important and that's just making sure that your PC is updated actually and I'm not just talking about Windows updates whenever people hear updates they think Windows updates that's not the only thing that you need to be checking for updates right so you have your graphics processing unit that has updates driver updates your chipset has driver updates so processor you have updates to your BIOS which is your basic input and output system um, that needs to be up to date you can easily check that if you go into system information so again we'll go to our little search here we'll pull open system information and right there you can see bios version and date and if you're not sure um, a lot of times those updates for the bios and even sometimes if you have like an apu or integrated um, an integrated graphics processor it's probably going to be straight from the manufacturer right and that's who you want to be getting your updates from this is a huge part right here this is very important those driver updates should be coming directly from the manufacturers or the companies who makes it not some third-party software or something weird you found online that says you know this is a driver update that you need some pop-up or anything like that that's a good way to get your computer either infected or destroy it right that's not good if you're venturing into dark places for driver updates that's not good you shouldn't have to go searching in the darkness of the internet to find driver updates they can be found directly from your man the manufacturer of the pc right so dell has like dell update hp has the hp support assistant lenovo has lenovo vantage um the different companies have these different software that might already be on the computer that you can use to update your device right so for example this is a lenovo so i can open lenovo vantage and go to my updates and actually see my updates for my system right here and then i have the safety of knowing that they're coming directly from lenovo not some weird third-party source that's gonna wreck my computer so that's it three easy ones right there go ahead and check your task manager see what kind of background processes you have running and check those startup apps maybe download the auto runs tool and check your um 
your your startup applications, startup services from there and really see what's running in the background on your computer. So, you know, uh, the second thing going into the actual built in settings and doing an adjustment for performance or if you need to increase paging size or adjust for background services or programs can be done inside of the Windows built in settings and then driver updates and system updates that should be coming directly from the manufacturers and make sure it's up to date. If you do these three things, your PC is probably going to be running pretty good. Don't forget to reboot, right? We got a whole video about that if you need to remember what we talked about. So um, that's it though. Pretty much do those three things. Reboot your system regularly and you will keep a healthy computer. Thanks for everyone for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you are all able to easily follow this and speed up your PCs. Now, please like, share, and follow. Again, we have to ask. They're down below, easy to do. Again, dislikes an option, but I hope you liked the video. If you didn't though, tell me why in the comments and we'll work on it. But like, share, and follow for now. We'll see you on the next one.